Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks Part 2. I just drew this and I thought I'd throw a little bit more information at you on something like this. I don't know that anybody ever draw this, but we're going to just basically start from scratch and draw an ellipse, take a two-point line, and hold down the control button and hit P, control D and make a duplicate, rotate it uh, 90 degrees so we get that half. And then we can actually take away these lines because they, whoop, ha, huh, that looks pretty cool. I might just save that. That is wicked. Let me back up here. What I did, I cut that line. Let me make a duplicate. And then when I cut this line again, I must have cut something in there. Yep. So never mind that idea. Anyway, then cut the, you don't really have to cut these lines just so I like cutting them so they won't be in the way. Now we are working in the center of the page. We can test that by our indexing lines and you can see we are. I'm going to take another ellipse, control button and hit P. Then you could actually take, I guess, two, two different lines to kind of give you a reference. Now this time we're going to do a little bit different. I'm not going to go down and back and forth. I'm just going to stay at the top. So I'm going to take my freehand tool and I'm going to immediately try to stay on that line and then come off and I'm going to just make some whoop de doos And there you have it. Not too bad. Uh, you could always change them up a little bit by taking your nodes and, you know, moving some things around. Uh, that looks pretty good. That looks okay. You could actually take this line down. Let's just call that good. Now, while we have our circle, but we have to kind of straighten it out a little bit, but we can't convert it to a outline yet, um, like we did on the first video, because we're actually gonna do some contour. See, I went past the line. So now I'm gonna go here. Whoop. Whenever you click twice, sometimes it'll do that. Our handle is way, way out there. I want it to kind of come in there and then I could I could actually change this to make it look a little better. Now, I would do a lot of work on that if I was gonna do it. Now what I'm gonna do is take my Smart Fill tool and I'm gonna fill in that ellipse, fill in that one, fill in that one. Whoop, see, I need to remove my circle for just a second. I don't want to get rid of it yet. I'm just going to move it out of the way. I'm going to delete that one. Go back to the Smart Fill tool. See the, the line of the circle stopped it from filling it in. Now, if I will take these items and I'm going to left click, right click, you have to, you could do them individually. You see our grayed up when I select them all, or you can go to object group and group them together. And then I'm going to contour on the inside. I'm not going to take any of this away or change it or uncontour it. I'm going to take and fill that in with black and move it over. Fill that in with black, black, black. Now I'm going to bring my circle back in. And I'm going to take my line and make it thicker. I'm going to go and go to object convert outline to an object. I am going to take it. Normally the last thing you have clicked will stay clicked. I'm going to left click, right click. And this is where we need to do our work. That's pretty good. Almost really don't want to change it because it'll be off, but just change it a little bit because we want this deleted and see how the, the line of the ellipse is stopping it from cutting. So I think I did pretty good on this. But I will, because I'm moving this, I will have to adjust it. And I'm going to do the same thing I did in the first video. Now we can get rid of our ellipse. As a matter of fact, we can get rid of all this. And I'm going to, I have to group it, Control G. I have to duplicate it, so Control D, and then alternate C, because it won't rotate from the center if you don't have it in a group. Then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees and we're going to look at our joint. 
or joints pretty good. I'm gonna, you have to always do the one you didn't move. You're gonna have to go to object, group and ungroup it for a second. So the nodes will show up. And what this is doing is just making them match when they come around. So that's good enough. And of course, that's not a very good transition there, but we can get rid of this one now. Now you have to go back and control G to group, control D to duplicate, and alternate C, and rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, control D. This is a real ugly one. I'm gonna take the box, just in case it's filled or leaks, and I'm gonna fill that in. Not very attractive, but you get the idea. I like my first one much better. Of course, my first one, I actually, I did some up and down whoop de doos But that's pretty cool. Uh, you could change the color of the uh, line. You could, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna get a line there for some reason when we do that with that. Now you could actually, <clears throat> Let's move these out of the, see, it's, it's the line of the item. So we could go to group and ungroup it and then just get our black. Might even be safer to do this. And then you could always do this afterwards and, and change the color. Let's make them yellow. Yeah, let's make them green so they'll stand out and then just move them back. So you could have a total different look and see they're contoured off, so they're going to kind of fit in those holes. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody a little bit. Thank you for watching.